Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about Game of Thrones. Uh, no, this is not a review for uh, last night's episode, uh, The Bells. This is actually going to be a um, theory, I guess. A theory video? Or a speculation video, I guess. Uh, uh, guessing what's going to happen in the final episode, because... I haven't done no theory videos for Game of Thrones this season, uh, mostly because I thought it was going to be way behind, but I actually got caught up recently with the final season. I thought I was going to have to wait for Blu-ray, but then I signed up to Crave TV, and uh, that's the only way to watch it in Canada, and uh, so I'm watching it. I'm caught up. I'm ready for the final episode. I am going to do a review for the season once it's all done. Uh, if you type up my name, David Giordano, and look up Game of Thrones with it, uh, I have done three Game of Thrones videos before. I did one for Season 1, one for Season 6, and one for Season 7. Because I did start off doing Season 6 first, and then 7, and then I decided to go back and review Season 1. And the plan was to do the rest of the seasons also that I missed out on, uh, that I didn't review uh, but I guess I decided to drop that plan, seeing that there was no point uh, maybe reviewing previous seasons, just keep it to the new ones. And so we're at season 8, obviously, and I'm ready to review this season. Uh, not yet, but after next week, after next Sunday, uh, I will review the final season of Game of Thrones, What I, my full thoughts on it. And uh, just to give you a little taste of what I thought of last night's episode, though, uh, I am I am on the side that enjoyed last night's episode uh, a lot. Uh, I I am not on the side that is hating on this season uh, or on this last episode. I guess I gave a little spoiler for my review next week. Uh, but look, moving on, I want to theorize on what's going to happen in the finale. So we got Daenerys recently going all batshit insane. And uh, burning all of her kingdom, right? What was supposed to be her kingdom that she was supposed to take over. And it seemed like she, she could have got that in a nice, clean way. But the Mad Queen decided to let loose. It was like the Hulk, right? She was like Bruce Banner and decided to let the Hulk unleash uh, the Hulk on a dragon this time. And go full blasting on the entire kingdom. Uh, with Cersei going down with her. So, yes, if you were to ask me before the season was over, would Cersei be making it to the finale? I would have definitely thought she was going to be in the final episode, and that's what the war was going to be uh, towards. I like it when a show or movie uh, succeeds in my expectations. Uh, like, doesn't have... It, it does something that I wasn't expecting, because I don't want the shows in these movies to be... Predictable. I like it when they are not predictable and go towards something. But I also like it to make sense as well. And some people are feeling that it's not making sense. I do. Um, but <laughs> I'm trying not to get to that review area. But I do think Daenerys is going to have to be killed in the next episode. She went too far with this. And I think Jon Snow is going to have to step up and kill her. I think he is going to have to make the ultimate play and kill her because this woman is unstable she can't rule a kingdom she is like the bloodlines that have come before her uh that like the mad king her her i think that yeah her father um the only one who seemed to have any sanity in him was her brother that was killed that is ned stark's i mean uh uh john snow's real life father right um, so yeah, I think Jon Snow's gonna have to kill her, plus it's weird to have this incest relationship between aunt and nephew, so he's probably like, you know what, maybe it's for the best if I kill her. Uh, so there we go on that. Now, who's going to rule the Iron Throne, if there even is a throne left to, uh, take over? To me, the obvious choice is Jon Snow. I think Jon Snow is gonna take over the Iron Throne, he's gonna be king and live and rule the kingdom uh, happily ever after the end. There you go. Now that might be the, the easy way that everybody's thinking. 
And, you know, I, another reason why I'm thinking that way is because uh, the creators of the show, uh, and even George R. R. Martin, has said they want to end the story with a Lord of the Rings Return of the King type ending. Lord of the Rings Return of the King ends with a happy ending. And if you're going to look at Jon Snow, he is the Aragon type of character. He's, he doesn't want to take up his place in the, in, in the throne, even though he knows who he is and his heritage. Uh, and I think this is where he's going to realize where he has to, because, well, as I already said before, there's a mad queen running about. So he can't let this, the kingdom be ruled by a mad woman. So he is the one that's stable enough to take that honor. Some people think Bran will, um, but I don't think so. Sansa is a second choice I would pick because I do think she's stable enough. And let's face it, uh, Ned Stark could have had that opportunity at one point if he really wanted to, but he, if I remember correctly, he didn't take it, and that's what led the Starks to their doom eventually. Um, but I, I do think that uh, Sansa is a secondary choice for me. Uh, if Jon Snow doesn't take it, if Jon Snow happens to die as well, I don't think Jon Snow will die, but you'll never know with this show sometimes. Uh, I, I think Jon Snow will be the one to sit on the throne, but Sansa would be my second choice, uh, totally. Um, Tyrion is the choice that I actually want to, to be the king on the Iron Throne, but I, I'm going to guess that's not going to happen. Tyrion is my favorite character on this show. Uh, ever since he bitch slopped, uh, bitch slopped, uh, bitch slapped J Joffrey uh, back in what season two or something like that? Maybe season one. I think it was season two where he bitch slapped uh, Joffrey. Um, yeah, T Tyrion. I would love it, but I'm not going to uh, hold, you know count my chickens on that. I think uh, he's just going to go out to, or maybe even serve by Jon Snow's side. By the end of it, just like he's been serving with Daenerys right now, right? Uh, whatever happens, I want Tyrion to live because if Tyrion li doesn't live by the end of this, especially after letting Jaime get free uh, in the previous episode, I I'm worried for Tyrion now. I think Daenerys might kill him for that, for letting Jaime free. Although maybe she'll be okay. Eh, at least I killed your brother or something like that. The point is. Look, the finale is going to be crazy. There's going to be all this shit going down with Daenerys and Jon Snow going at it now at each other. You know that's going to happen. That's going to happen. The way this episode, this last episode left off, we're going to have some real shit going down. And uh, look, that's that's all I'm going to say. Those are my predictions. I don't think Bran is going to die. I think Arya is going to walk off and be a warrior in the sunset. Um, yeah. Those are my predictions. There we go. So uh, with that being said, guys, tell me your thoughts. What is going to happen to the Starks? What's going to happen to Daenerys? What's going to happen to Tyrion? If you are a fan of Game of Thrones, comment below and comment any characters that I might have left out that you think are very important to the final episode of Game of Thrones. This is going to be the finale of the ages. Will it live up to the hype? Uh, which some people already feel that it's not going to. Uh, it will be another lost situation, I guess. Or maybe it will surprise everybody and see, make everybody look at this season and go, yeah, you know what, maybe they did make the right choice for all of this. So, we'll see. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and until next time, take care.